This is the most explosive offense in Madden 23. It has a one play touchdown for every defense. Break yourself, fool! Break yourself, fool! And so many plays you could run this offense the entire game. So if you want to see what plays I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I am once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offense and Denver Broncos defensive ebooks. I have been using the Saints offense since the game came out, but the Broncos is a playbook that is brand new, and I really think these are the best two playbooks to use in the game right now. Before I get into the video, if you guys want to see more gameplays from either of these playbooks, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you don't want to wait and want to see more right now from these or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top pinned comment to instantly download any of my ebooks to your phone or laptop or have them sent to the email of your choice. I recently switched over from the Philadelphia Eagles and wanted to start using some new teams. I decided to start using the Seattle Seahawks because in my opinion, they might have the best offense in the game, but they also have the worst defense as they really only have like five players that can play. I'm thinking about switching teams every week or so, so if you guys want to see me use your favorite team next, give me some suggestions in the comment section. I might use in an upcoming video. The offense I'm using today is once again my gun stack wide flex offense. I call it mine because I've been using it since Madden 23 came out, but I have noticed a lot of copycat channels have recently found out just how good this is and are putting out a lot of their own versions of this offense, which are basically the exact same setups. So today I'm going to be adding a few one play touchdowns to their offense and yours, starting with the fade out, which is a cover two and a cover three one play touchdown that I first previewed in yesterday's gameplay video. I run the drive H wheel on first down to get to the sideline as this play is best run from a hash mark to the open side of the field. Then all I have to do to get this play to work is put the X route or square route whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation on a comeback route and that route makes the cornerback hesitate just enough Break yourself, fool. that the wheel route can get outside and behind him for a big play. And just like that, we score on the second play of the game. On defense, I'm going to be using a brand new setup to the Madden 23 meta defense, the Overstorm Brave, which is a setup that I put out yesterday. I'll have a link in the description for that video as well if you guys missed it. On the first play, he hits me with a draw run for about six. He tries to run again, and it gets shut down the next play. On third down, we get pressure that forces an incomplete pass. Then on fourth and four, he goes for it. And I still don't know how this was an interception. Somehow he gets past my six foot four cornerback. What the hell was that? Once inside the red zone, we shut down his first run. He gets inside the five with a play action boot. Then on third and one, we come out in our best run defense to cover four quarters from the three four odd and send the house, forcing another incomplete pass. He goes for it again and we make the same adjustment, but the zig finds the space. Damn it! And this time he scores by throwing into a tight window. He goes for it on two because apparently he's just that type of guy. Nope. Back on offense and back to the wheel route, which is easily my favorite play. I go back to the fade out, but he is dropping everyone back now, and I'm not sure if it'll work against this. So I just take the first down underneath. He knocks me back on first down, so I switch to the Saints fork, which is really the only play I ever leave this formation to use. And I notice that he is now pressing with his cornerback way out of position. So I make a fade outside, and DK Metcalf's speed does the rest. Break yourself, fool! As not a lot of players in the game can win that foot race. It's pretty. It's so pretty. And we are now up eight. Back on defense, my opponent is using some sort of glitchy pistol formations where Curtis Samuel is playing tight end. And I have no idea what happened. As all of a sudden, Curtis Samuel is running straight down the middle of the field for an easy wide open touchdown. What in the fuck was that? He goes for it on two and he hits the exact same zig route to tie the game. Back on offense, I see he is running a cover two man, and I switch over to my next one play touchdown, the PA read. This is another play that can score against any cover two, whether it's man or zone. All you have to do is streak or fade the wire triangle route, and the X route will split the two safeties. <laughs> And you can see that would have been gone if the pressure didn't force a slightly overthrown pass out of DK Metcalf's reach as the drive stalls and I have to punt it away. Back on defense, he burns me with the exact same pistol formation and it turns out that when he motions this guy across, no one is covering him and he becomes my assignment, which I realize way too late as he streaks him right past for another easy one play touchdown. But now at least I know what the hell is happening. Oh! Oh, good for you. But now I'm also down a touchdown because of it. He goes for two again and we get the interception, but it's a linebacker and he isn't fast enough to turn this into points. Mm. 
He's also that type of guy that goes for onside kicks as we now have a short field. My first pass is incomplete and now he's only running cover two man. I could try to go up top again, but if I don't connect, then I'll have to burn it down and I might have to punt it away. So I take the zig route from the sale and pivot play for a big catch and run. Then I hurry up to try to run again. Yeah. Only throw an interception to a linebacker sitting right in the middle of the field in a hook zone that wasn't even a user. I switch over to my under smoke defense. Oh. Oh. which is still one of my favorites he tries to run a jet sweep and we stop him for a loss then on the next play he either thought he could run past or aggressive glitch catch gotcha, bitch. but neither are going to happen against my six foot four speedster tyreek woolen in coverage who makes a miraculous return from the last game's absence now i'm willing to waste it down on first down as we set up the one play touchdown once again break yourself fool <laughs> only this time the pass lands right where it's supposed to as we take the lead back back on defense the under smoke pressure does his job and we get a sack on first down but on second down this guy is using another glitchy route from the pistol formation as there is no way the cornerback should bite that hard on a corner route but he lets the wide receiver get right past him and i can't tell if it's the route or just how terrible the secondary is on the next play though nothing is open and he has to throw it away nope on second and ten we send the house <laughs> and we get an instant sack, knocking him back to third and 20, but it's not enough to knock him out of field goal range as he takes the lead at half. He also gets ball coming out of the locker room, and to make things worse, he has a backup running back at his fullback spot. So when I do the fullback kick, he actually has enough speed to get a good return and is now starting at midfield. Oh, come on! I stay in the under smoke play, and on the first play, he gets nothing on the ground. Nope. Then on the next play, the pressure comes in off the edge, Woo! and once again, we knock him back for another third and plus 20 in a row before he pulls out whatever glitch that is that he's using to get the first down. I get to see the player after and there's no corner out on the play, so I don't know what the hell he's doing, but I'm going to lab it because it's absolutely killing my man's zero defense as he gets inside the red zone once again. He tries to run again as we knock him back a yard. <laughs> Then he pulls out the old RPO reflat wheel glitch and barely gets the yard back. Then on a critical third and long... <laughs> yeah. We get another big sack to force another field goal. Down five, he goes for an onside kick, nope. and now we have a short field. We get into a quick third and eight, and we switch it up and go back to the Saints fork, and this play hasn't worked well for me all day, but we get the first down. I try to run a screen pass, but I guess I hit the button one too many times or something. What the hell was that? Now on second and 15, he is all over my man beater, and I have to throw it away. I have to go back to the Saints fork on third and 15, and this time, he is all over that corner route, but you can't cover all these routes as we get inside the five. I hurry it up and decide to quick snap him before he can get in a position to take away this tight end route in the flat, but he did have a defensive end, a hard flat, and he also tried to use it, but it's hard to stop this route from getting a few yards. Go for two with the inside zone, and we punch it in to take a three point lead. Back on defense and still in the under smoke, on first down, we stuff the run for only one yard once again. Then on second and nine, he has a step. Gotcha, bitch. But you need more than that to test my six foot four, 98 speed Tariq Woolen as we climb the ladder and we are now just a few minutes away from putting this game away as we are already in field goal range at worst. But I want to end this game right here because I know how glitchy his offense is. So I start out by hitting the wheel route underneath for some easy yards. He is coming out in what looks like the Overstorm Brave. I look for the running back once again. See, he is doubled with a hard flat and a man defender trailing. So I wait for him to turn up field and drop it in the bucket for a game ceiling touchdown as my opponent is suddenly having trouble with his internet provider. And that's the game, but we did get a look at the stats before my opponent leaves as Geno Smith has five TDs and over 300 yards with three minutes left to go in the game that will never be played. I'm going to end the video there, but if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, if you want to see more from the offense and defense I was running throughout this game, I'll have links popping up on the screen for the PA Fork and the Under Smoke defense I was using in the second half. If you want to see that, just click the link as I'm sure it'll help out your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below